What is Crack Lacking Collectors? Click the time again today. And today, today I'm going to be doing a review on the Mega Blastoise Battle Arena deck. Picked this guy up for my weekly spending of Pokemon cards. Uh, you know, it wasn't that much money actually. They're having a Black uh, Friday sale at EB Games, and this was a good pickup. And I've been wanting to do a review on both the Charizard and this one, but unfortunately I can't buy them in one hit. As I said, I'm on a budget, as always. I keep saying that, I get annoyed by saying it. But um, I thought I'd do a review on it, on the deck itself, and see what it's like. And we can open this up today, and then I'll make a video on the Pokemon Online game, and see how it plays against other people and stuff like that. So we're going to get into this right away, and check it out, and see what this deck has to offer. So stick around, and we're going to do that right now. As always, you're going to get tokens in this one, and you're going to get a battle mat. Alright guys, so you get this really cool battle mat with uh, Charizard and the Blastoise right there. Alright guys, so you get this really epic Mega Blastoise coin, I really like that, it's really cool. Really awesome coin, that one. You got Blastoise EX, that's your main card I guess, that you're going to be using in this deck, and you get the Mega Blastoise EX too, so you can upgrade to that Mega with the Hydro Bombard with 120 damage. You also get a holographic uh, delinquent, so that's really interesting. But well, we're going to talk about what these cards do soon. I just want to get through the deck first and show you guys what you get in the, inside the deck. All right, guys, so you get this little uh, deck case. It's got the Battle Arena decks logo on there. And yeah, so not a bad little uh, case for your cards. All right, so we're going to get into the deck now and see what we get and talk about some things. All right, so you get a couple of these reverse hollows. I really like that. They've done the whole deck in reverse hollows with the you know, that's really good. Really makes it feel a bit more special than your normal decks. Let's get through all these. All right, so we've got Empoleon here. Probably your main monster to play with, I guess. And Blastoise is the star of the show, but I reckon there's gonna be a couple of these running through this deck. Now it's got the ability Diving Draw. Once during your turn before you attack, you may discard a card from your hand. If you do, draw two cards. Not a bad ability, guys. So you can get rid of a card you don't want and you get two in return. So that's, that's not a bad ability. Might help out when you're playing. Right, so the move attack man does 10 times damage to the number of Pokemon in play. Yeah, not too bad, guys. 140 HP. So, yeah, it's... So, yeah, guys, Empoleon doesn't do a bad job uh, here, I guess. But I would have... I could probably change it around later on. Try something else out. We'll see how we go. But well, we've got a Manaphy here. Deep Sea Swell. Shuffle your hand into your deck. And then draw six cards. All right, cool. That's not, a, that's not bad as a move, I guess. It's only got 70 HP, though, so... I wouldn't be expecting it to live too long. Lifesaver, put two water Pokemon from your discard pile into your hand. So yes, yeah, very handy Pokemon this one. Doesn't, as I said, not very bulky. And that's what I mean guys, late game, uh, probably not the best card to use Lifesaver with depending on what they have on the field because as I said, it's only got 70 HP and you're expected to bring back Pokemon from the dead from the discard pile. Uh, but that's what I mean, like, I don't know, I have to see how it goes, but I feel like with 70 HP, you're not gonna be doing too much there. You could, you know, the, the move might be hindered a bit, but anyway, we'll see how it goes. We've got uh, Prinlap here, second form of uh, Empoleon, Razor Wing and Fury Attack there, not too bad for a second uh, evolution. We have Piplup, and that has Fury Attack times 10. Flip three coins, the attack does 10 damage to number of heads. Not too bad if you're, as I said, for a starting off, if you're versing another starter Pokemon or basic Pokemon, this attack could pull off some nice hits. But as I said, guys, it's just a basic Pokemon, so sort of your standard sort of thing going on. We have Octillery here, so I'm really interested to see what this card does. All right, so Abyssal Hand. You may draw cards until you have five cards in hand. So if you need cards, it can help you out there. Its move is Hug. The defending Pokemon cannot retreat during your opponent's next turn, so that's not too bad. Like, if you want to trap something, uh, this can come in handy, but it only does 40 damage. And not only that, it only has 90 HP, so mm, I don't know. I don't know. I think there's better options out there. But we'll soon find out. We've got some more water energies. We've got Execute in here. So, I don't know. We're going to read the abilities of the Execute here. Once during your turn before you attack, if this Pokemon is in your discard pile, you may put this Pokemon into your hands. So, C Bomb 20, it's only got 30 HP. Mm. For a basic, you know, I wouldn't pick this Pokemon. It's too weak for me. But it can spam um, more Executes in your discard pile. You can pretty much put them back into your hand. So, at least you know you've always got something in your hand, I guess. And I guess that's why you can sort of like spam them into your hand. I don't know. I, I really think there are better options than that. 
We've got a rare candy here, and this thing is good to see. Rare candies are, I love rare candies. I have a lot, I usually, I actually use quite a bit of rare candies in my decks. I just find that they're really good. Uh, they really help me out. So basically, for those who don't know what rare candy does, you basically, if you have your, instead of waiting it's the next turn to evolve your Pokemon, basically you put your first basic Pokemon down and you can use this to evolve it, if that makes sense. So that's why I like rare candies. I usually run at least three or four in my decks, uh, depending on how I want to run it. But um, I think this one only has one or two, so we're going to find out. But we have Remoraid here. Iron Pool, discard any stadium card in play and it gets Water Gun with 60 HP. Yeah, it's not too bad. We're going to really have to test that one out to see how it goes. We have uh, Skylar, search your deck for a trainer card, reveal it and put it to your hand, shuffle your deck afterwards. Not a bad card to have. We have Verse Seeker. That is uh, really good. Verse Seekers are really good cards too. I think I use quite a lot of them in my decks. We have Ultra Ball, another Pokemon card that is sort of like staple in a competitive deck. Um, as I said, I usually run uh, more than one, definitely. I don't know how many are in this deck, but I definitely would take more. Uh, here's another great card, and here's another, another card you'll see a lot in competitive play. Um, I'm not sure how many are in this deck. Tierno, and that's draw three cards. Anything to draw is good. We've got another special energy, water energy. We have Professor Sycamore. Discard your hand and draw seven cards. So that's a good card, really good card. We have a Super Rod. Shuffle three, any combination of Pokemon and basic energies from your discard pile into your hand. So another good card to have, really good card. Another Verse Seeker, good to see. You have Shauna, shuffle your hand into your deck and draw five cards, another good card to have. If you wanted to start getting cards into your hand that you need. Uh, we got another Pibble up here. We talked about that guy last time. We have Rough Seas, a stadium card. Once during each player's turn, the player may heal 30 damage from each of his or hers water Pokemon and electric Pokemon. Really interesting. So I don't really use stadium cards much. Uh, I know there's some good strategies behind the stadium cards, but um, it'd be really interesting to see how this works. I usually avoid them and just go for other things, but I wouldn't mind seeing how it works with this deck, and I might even keep it in here uh, later on. We have Rare Candy here, so it's good to see another one. We have another Ultra Ball, that's good to see. We have a Professor's Letter, so that's good if you want to get some energies and start attacking, so that's really nice. We have uh, Grass Energy, we have another Menifee. We have uh, another Professor Sycamore, which is good. We have Pokemon Fan Club, so that's good if you need to get some basic Pokemon out onto the field. We've got another N, which is great. N is a good card. I love it. It's good. Good to see. We've got a muscle band here. So it does, it does 20 more damage if you attach this to a Pokemon. So yeah, that's not a bad card to have, I guess. We have a Mega Turbo. So you can basically put any energies in your discard pile to your Mega Evolved Pokemon. Now, I'm not too sure if I'd use this, but uh, yeah, we're going to see how it runs uh, in the deck when I make that video, uh, when I play people. You know, I'm not a big fan of Max Ethers. Um, I don't really like them that much. That's just me though. We have more water energies. We have Lysander guys. Lysander is a great card. Really good card to have actually. So you can basically switch out a threat into something more desirable to face. And I like that. It's really good. I really like this card actually. Level Balls are another card I like to use. So it's good to see them in this deck. Basically, this also helps you get uh, any Pokemon you need from basically uh, basic to second stage into your hands. Usually, I'll use it for second stage Pokemon to help me out. But if I'm in a bit of a cram and I don't have enough uh, Pokemon on my bench, I'll use it to get a basic out. But yeah, but really good uh, Pokemon card, that one. We have Floatstone. Oh, yes, I love Floatstones. Floatstones are really, really good uh, cards, guys. Basically, you can just switch out whenever you want when it comes to retreating. Yeah, another really competitive card, really. We have an Evo Soda. Another good card to have if you want to get your um, Pokemon Evolve fully fast. So that's a good card to have. We have Bridget here. So that's good to have for EXs. So this is pretty much perfect for this deck. Because you want to be getting that Blastoise out. We have Verizian here. This is going to be interesting. All right, so double draw. You draw two cards. Always good to have if you're going to be drawing cards. We have Leaf Wallop. Only hitting at 40 there. During your next turn, this Pokemon's Leaf Wallop does 40 more damage. So not it, it, so it pretty much does 80 then, really, when you think about it. But um, yeah, not the best Verizian card out there, in my opinion. HP is a bit lackluster, but um, that double draw could help out, I guess. And it is a basic two, guys. So you can just chuck it straight on the field if you need to. So not too bad. Oh, we've got Lapras here, too. 
Look, was a misty in the corner there. I've seen this card quite a bit, guys. This card is um, I've seen this card pl being played a few times online. So we've got errand running, and we have search your deck for a trainer card, reveal it, and put it into your hand. Shuffle your deck. So a good card to have. Water splash, flip a coin if heads. This attack does 20 more damage, so you could potentially do 100 damage with this card and 120 HP. Really, really good basic card to have. So yeah, I probably would keep Lapras in here. As I said, if, um, really awesome card, guys. I really really like Lapras, so we're going to keep that one in there. I know I will, because I think it's a good card. We'll leave Energies. Uh, we have more Executes. We have more Raid. We've got Octillery. I talked about those. We have another Empoleon. It's a different one, so we're going to look at this. We're going to look at this. All right, guys, so this one has 140, same as the other Empoleon in this deck. This one hits a lot harder though it has 70 so for the ability we have dignified fighter each of your basic pokemon's attacks does 20 more damage to your opponent's active pokemon so out of the two empoleons in this deck this one's definitely the better one i think uh it's definitely more competitive hits harder i don't know i probably would probably just get rid of the other two i don't know we'll have to see how as i said i want to see the strategies behind it once we get into that Alright guys, so there's the, your basic monsters you're going to be using in the deck. I don't know if I talked about this card, but this is the but this is the delinquent, and this is the alternative art one, and that's a really nice card. I really like the art of it. But um, basically, all this card does is discard any stadium card in play. If you do, your opponent discards three cards from from his or her hand. So given that we do have a stadium card in this deck, this card could help out it a little bit, I guess. But I'm not a big fan of the, of the delinquent, so. I oh, know, as I said, I have to play with it first and see how it goes. All right, guys, so we've got our main two cards here, the big Blastoise, the big man himself, and we're going to talk about these cards here and see what they're like. So we've got 180 HP here for the Blastoise EX. This is a basic also, so you can get this straight out of your hand onto the, onto the field. It's got Rapid Spin, and you can use any energy for that. Switch this Pokemon with one of your bench Pokemon, then your opponent switches his or her active Pokemon with one of your his or her bench Pokemon. It does 30. So we've got Splash Bomb here, 120 damage. Flip a coin if Tails, this Pokemon does 30 damage to itself. 120 damage is not bad, I guess. It's not too bad. But um, as I said, doing that damage yourself can hinder it. We've got the Mega uh, Blastoise to look at now, and that's, that's what you want to do, guys. You want to get this guy out. I think this card's going to be a lot better to use. As I said, it's a bit of a powerhouse. You've got 220 HP there, so it's quite bulky. So Hydro Bombard basically costs the same as the uh, Splash Bomb. So you're gonna have the same energies applied to it. And what happens then is you're using the same amount of damage, 120, but it also does 30 damage to two of your opponent's bench Pokemon. So it's doing damage on the bench and damage on the field, but 120 to me is pretty lackluster for uh, Blastoise here, but it is bulky, so it's gonna take hits. Um, and they can probably dish out, you know, a few of these uh, Hydro Bombards. As I said, I've seen better EXs out there. Not a bad deck, guys. It looks like it could be a bit of fun, and I really can't wait to play it. I just thought I'd go through and review it and talk a bit about the deck and my opinion on it. I have to say, guys, it looks more like a fun deck. So what I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to make another video on this deck, playing online using the code card, and we're going to see how it goes as is, or as is stock. We're going to use it stocko basically stock and then I might modify the deck itself with other cards and see how I can turn it into my own sort of um, style of play if that makes sense. Alright guys so that's the Blastoise uh, deck here. Uh, I've been seeing a lot of people open this up just to see the contents but I went through and gave it a review. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it and got a bit more understanding of the deck. If you guys want me to go into more depth I could do that in the future but um, yeah for anyone who doesn't know how to play the game I'll try and make it a bit more easy for you to understand, I guess. But we're going to see how this deck goes in the, um, in the next episode coming out this week. And I want to thank everyone who watched. If you guys want to drop a like, that'd be really great and I'd really appreciate it. And if you guys want to stick around, I'll be doing more stuff like this in the future. I do all sorts of random stuff when it comes to Pokemon and Funko Pops, whatever else. And yeah, guys, so we're going to leave it there for today. Hopefully, you guys have a great week. And I'll see you in the next one, eh? All right, collect the tyrant out.